Hi, this is Rebecca from Cheminits, and I'm here with AllForKnitting.com to show you how to make a twisted loop cast on, which is especially useful when you want to add stitches at the end of a knit row. To create this cast on, you create a loop with the yarn. So you pinch it together and create a loop. You twist it around, put it on the needle. So then when you pull it, you can see that you have this twist. So we're not just wrapping the yarn around, we're actually pinching the yarn, twisting it, inserting the needle, and then pulling the yarn. So pinch the yarn, twist it, insert the needle, pull it through. Pinch the yarn to get a loop, twist it, so then I'll show the bottom of it. So you twist it so it looks like this, insert it, and put the needle through. So I'm twisting the yarn in the direction so that way the way the tail of the yarn is going is in the front um, of the loop. So that way when I insert my needle, the tail is held, um, is kind of trapped by the rest of the loop. So pinch, twist, insert the needle, and there we go. So we've cast on some twisted loop stitches. So then when you're ready to knit, you can turn your work, or I guess in this case we'll purl, and you can just proceed down the row normally as you would. So I'm just going to start purling into these stitches. And you can see that they're forming nice and normal stitches. Okay, and there we have it. We have purled through the first row of what we cast on with the twisted loop method. And I'll turn this around so you can see what the cast what the cast on looks like from the other side. And so see this is what these stitches look like. And a nice thing about this cast on is that if you need to pick up stitches to knit in the other direction, um, the stitches at the bottom are ready to be picked up very easily. So thank you for watching this tutorial on the twisted loop cast on method. Once again, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and this video was brought to you with all free, by allfreeknitting.com.